Cause all of me love Good afternoon everybody It's January 5th, 2018 Exactly 3 o'clock right now And I'm sitting in my living room These are some morning habits that can change your life I know this month is the month where everybody sets their resolutions um, And some people need them Some people um, don't really believe in that stuff and it's okay, it's fine. Uh, life is run on habits and routines. And it took me a while to to like figure this out. But once I got myself into a routine, I was like, um, you feel more functional, more fruitful, and you just don't want anything or anybody to um, mess up that routine. These are just some seven, and then I know there's more. But I'm just talking about the morning. We're going to talk about the morning today. And in another video, I will be sharing uh, some habits throughout the day that can change your life. But these are some habits that um, can change your life forever. Okay. Your mind and your body need a fresh and happy start in the morning. You need to set mindful a mindful morning routine or ritual so that your body and your mind are um, happy and also they are um, balanced. First thing in the morning, if you need to set up an alarm to wake you up, do so by all means. But also tell yourself in your mind that there is no option for the snooze button, okay? Don't hit the snooze button. Beat that alarm clock at least by one minute and just say, I'm gonna get up an hour or 20 minutes or in a minute before the snooze button. It will take you about a week to build this habit. Once you already have set, built that habit, it's hard to break it. You have to go to bed early, okay? You don't go to bed early, your body's not gonna wanna wake up early, okay? The second habit, as soon as you step down on the floor, yes, thank God for the day, pray, but also stretch. Stretch, baby, stretch. Pull your arms, you yeah, know, you can do some stretching like this. So you get the blood flowing. Stretching has a lot of health benefits, okay? The muscles, you know, warm up your joints are more flexible they're not like tight and um not functioning number three water as soon as you get up in the morning drink a cup a cup of warm water if you can add lemon if you have lemon add it i do i drink either water or tea usually drink water about 70 percent or more of your body is made of water so if you're sleeping let's say eight seven to eight hours without you know having no water in your system your body is like oh hello I need some water so water helps you uh, helps your stomach get ready for whatever you're gonna feed helps you wake up helps your um, blood helps your entire body just you know wake up number four breakfast Having breakfast is so, so important, okay? Breakfast just kicks, kick starts your metabolism. Breakfast is like the main meal of the day, for me at least, you know, because then throughout the day, I won't be craving for, you know, um, sugar. You won't be craving for junk food, basically. You get in the car and you realize that you have no gas. And that car can't move without gas, okay? So, your car needs gas, so your body needs breakfast. At least that's what I think. Number five, music. Now, now on some homes, um, you just can't put music because maybe somebody wakes up later. Um, I know my husband comes to home, comes from work late, so I, he sleeps in because he has to. Um, but I still um, put music on. Not loud, but let's say what if while I'm making breakfast um, or preparing my tea, I like to put a little bit of music just to um, you know, just 
just to wake me up to um, put me in a good mood if nobody's sleeping in the house i actually like to have loud music by early but if somebody's sleeping i will just put like <clears throat> soft music you know and just kind of like to wake me up you know usually i just put worship music number six no phone okay it is so tempting to just wake up in the morning open your eyes and pick up the phone and look at what's going on um excuse me and look what's going on it is tempting i know but turn turn it off nobody's gonna want nobody's gonna need you unless you have to go to work um and you need the phone on you know but i'm talking about like early early these habits of that I'm sharing are for like very very early you know before you go to work before you do anything um, these habits are for those you know those first two hours of your morning so no phone turn off the notifications put it on silent or just put music on and flip it if you have to so you don't see even if you get notifications that's what I do and just just don't you know don't get into the social media very early because what if you see a bad news you know and what if you um read something really bad or see something that happened and it's just gonna ruin your entire day you know if you want bad news go turn the tv on read number seven is read okay um you can pick a favorite book for me i like to read my bible in the morning i like to see you know um usually i have like a chapter where you know i'm reading for the morning or i have a devotional book and i will read the bible pray and then i will read the devotional book which would be um like for the like let's say uh, the message for the day you know for, for that day um for, or the devotion for that day and i'll read it and just sit there and thank god and just spend like at least 15 to 30 minutes in silence and just um just mention all the things that you're grateful and thankful to god for and this puts you not only in a good mood um it uh, um it awakens your soul your mind it prepares your mind your, your it prepares you for the day you know you never know what you're gonna struggle what you're gonna face during the day so um building healthy habits in the morning it's like your foundation for the day you know it's like your base say the way you wake up in the morning it's how the day is gonna end up so why not build habits that are going to help you during the day help you with any task any chore anything that you have to accomplish so but if you don't have a base um you might find it hard during the day you know i know if i don't spend time with, with god you know i usually like when not like when frustration when i encounter frustration during the day i'm just like what's going on why am i so frustrated or if i don't eat breakfast by the time that it's like noon i'm just like oh I, you know my blood sugar goes down um i can't think straight i can't concentrate i just can't make decisions um i get frustrated easy so think about it that think about all these steps and i'm sure there's more out there that you can do your research and um pick what you know what you like what works for you um but i believe that having a healthy um, building healthy habits especially for your morning before you do anything um creates the base the foundation for you to have a um a, a great day think about these steps and um i hope you can you know you can take them and they will work in your life and apply them and remember that um daily habits healthy daily habits are built every day with um with effort and it's not something overnight you know but it will ultimately change your life so think about it and um if you have more don't forget to you know feel free to uh, comment down below and i would love to hear you know some of your some of your habits that you have um used 
or found useful and that you use them in your uh, daily life okay if you want to be successful successful in any area of your life you know whatever maybe not just work you know um you have to set your morning habits your morning rituals your morning routines your daily daily habits you know you have to set them like you have to have the base just like when you build a house the house has to have it's like when you have to build a house the house has to have foundation if you don't have foundation it will fall if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and finally we have hit 1000 subscribers and i'm so happy and thankful and uh today's really cold like it's still really freezing i, w I went out to do some uh, some pictures i will share them tomorrow um but it's really cold like it's really cold yesterday it, like you guys saw it in the video it snowed and it snowed all day and then parts of the island were also flooded some streets um but today it's sunny but it's cold as you can hear it my daughter's napping right now so anyway it is so nice to talk to you guys I'm grateful and thankful for all of you who have subscribed and um, are sticking to this channel I have I have some more content coming up and so stick around and remember there's always something to be grateful for okay bye